Good afternoon, everybody. It's that time of the week. Not only are we headed towards the weekend here in Israel, but it is the last broadcast of the week on the Israel Brief, brought to you by Lay of the Land. And yes, we bring you those top stories every Monday to Thursday. You can view us on Facebook or on our YouTube channel, and I'll give you those details in a few minutes. But let's first take a look at those top stories. And Karim Khan has been sworn in as the new chief prosecutor at the International Criminal Court, that's the ICC at The Hague. He replaces Fetou Ben Sudan, a very controversial figure uh, who was heading the ICC. Controversial because according to legal NGO Shurat Adin, writing in a op-ed in the Jerusalem Post, they've mentioned how she broke her promise to investigate Turkey's settlement occupation in northern Cyprus, but has focused specifically on Israel. Now, why Israel? Well, towards the end of last year, it was announced that the ICC would be investigating Israel and possibly Hamas for what they are calling war crimes during the 2014 Operation Protective Edge, or Miftzat Tzuketan, as it is called in Hebrew. The investigation will also also look into the controversial settlement policy, but does not, um, or rather negates, an investigation into what led to the kidnapping of the three young boys uh, that exposed Hamas's network of tunnels underground. Now, the investigation has faced a lot of criticism from countries around the world saying that they are concerned that the ICC is not keeping to its mandate, but instead is polit politicizing rather an agenda that does not serve any uh, movement towards peace or a negotiated settlement in the Middle East. Israel has said that the ICC have no jurisdiction over us. In fact, Israel has not signed the Rome Statute, which is the founding document that uh, brought the ICC into existence. However, Ben Suda said towards last year that the ICC will assume jurisdiction over Israel and the Palestinians. But the incoming chief prosecutor, Karim Khan, is known to be a lot more even-handed towards Israel, and uh, we are waiting to see whether or not he will pursue the investigation or drop it as uh, a waste of the court's time, preferring rather to focus on other major war crimes around the world. We can point him uh, to Syria. That seems to be an area that has been neglected, or to China, but uh, that's just our opinion. In other news, the government will vote on Sunday for the formation of a formal inquiry into the Meron disaster that led to the death of 45 at uh, the Lagba Omer festival just a couple of weeks ago. This is the largest non-wartime disaster that has happened in Israel's history. Now, incoming or rather new finance minister, uh, Avigdor Lieberman, has earmarked 6 million shekels for this investigation. And yesterday we spoke to you about how Benny Gantz, the defense minister, had put forward this proposal for this inquiry to come into form. It is expected that the the vote will pass unanimously. For the third day in a row, Hamas terrorists and other terror entities within the Gaza Strip have sent incendiary balloons committing arson terror into Israel's south. What this entails is taking balloons, uh, condoms and attaching IEDs, these are improvised explosive devices or Molotov cocktails to them and sending them over the border and what results is a lot of fire. What is also very dangerous is that young children are particularly attracted to the balloons and for many children in the Gaza periphery area, balloons no longer symbolize parties and birthdays, but rather an object of terror. Now, Shirat Adin, who I mentioned earlier, have appealed to the ICC to investigate Hamas for this war crime while they are uh, intent on investigating this area. And we will see whether or not any kind of uh, humanitarian institution has something to say that condemns the sending of arson balloons into Israeli sovereign territory.
So those are the top stories making headlines. It has been quite a week with new governments and soon to be new presidents, all very, very exciting. So we think you all deserve a rest. We certainly are going to rest up this weekend. But don't forget, you can check out our original content on our website at www.layoftheland.online. My article is up about how uh, um, anti-Semitism manifests differently in every generation. You can check out Dave Kaplan's article all about our incoming president or president-elect Isaac Herzog. And uh, we have a fantastic legal article about the uh, former minister and the ANC, Ronnie Cashels versus South Africa's Chief Rabbi. Don't forget to check those out on our website. We're on Facebook at Lottle Site. If you haven't given us a like or a follow, please do so. Share our content. We really appreciate your help in getting Israel's narrative out to the world. We're on YouTube at The Israel Brief. Click on that big red subscribe button. Let's get people understanding what happens here in Israel. And we're on Twitter. You can find us at Lay of the Land 5. Interact with us. We love it when you do. So from the team at the Israel Brief and Lay of the Land, I'm Rolene Marks wishing you a safe and a healthy weekend. Shabbat Shalom. Enjoy the break. And we'll speak to you again on Monday.